want it, get it, don't ever give up, you got it, you want to make it, then chase it, no one can stop you, stop you, they're gonna hate you, hate you, but let them hate you, that's fine, cause if they stand in your way, then you gotta leave them behind. Yo, what is going on guys? It is Sam Moore Burns and welcome back to the South Alabama Dynasty. Uh, we're in week 13, I believe it is now. And we have a tough road game this week taking on the South Carolina Gamecocks. They are a team we beat last week, but they are ranked number 5 in the nation, 8-2 and two on the season. So it will be a, uh, definitely is going to be a tough game. And I wouldn't say we need this win. We have 6 wins right now, so we're bowl eligible. But uh, seventh win, we have two more games. We have this game, and then we're uh, senior night or senior day, whatever you want to call it, uh, against um, who is it? It's it's against Vanderbilt uh, next week. So those are our uh, last couple games these uh, next couple weeks before we get into bowl season. And we do have some big, you know, big seniors graduating next week. Uh, you know, uh, Bilal Marshall's graduating, Kyle Clifford, Matt Harris. We got some pretty big contributors to the program graduating. So next week should be fun. You'll go ahead and see the bowl, proje pro bowl projections. And Ian's Georgia State Panthers are projected in the Beef O'Brady's Bowl against Marshall. And I believe we are projected in the... What bowl is it? Uh, the Gator Bowl against Minnesota. So that'd be a January Bowl game. That'd be pretty good. But we got to go ahead and take care of business here. See if we can get the upset on the road against South Carolina. Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. South Carolina's looked almost unbeatable the last few weeks. They're finally playing the way they knew they could before the season started. You know how this game is. You're only as good as your last one. And they're going to have to prove it on the field again today. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. So getting into it, we have the ball first. Bilal Marshall is going to keep this one on the read option and juke out the corner right there and get the first down. That is a 12-yard run for Bilal Marshall, and you'll see his season passing stats right there. But it's third down and 12, and here is Bilal Marshall passing. Going to be rolling to his right. He's got a man deep, sets, throws, hit as he throws, but he finds Matt Harris, the senior, on the right sideline in a big gain. Sets up a second and ten later in the drive. Marshall's going to roll to his right, and he's got a lot of room, and he will go ahead and get out of bounds after a 12-yard gain right there on the scramble. And that would set up a field goal right here, and Logan Dunn, the senior, kicks it through the uprights and gives the Jaguars a 3 nothing lead on number 5 South Carolina. But here we go, Kendrick Sally, I believe his name is, uh, with a 5-yard run right there, and... Most of you know, uh, actually before I get to that, you saw right there Bilal Marshall ended up with a concussion uh, at the conclusion of that drive. He's out for the rest of the game. So Trevor Haynes, the sophomore, will be leading us the rest of this game. But Kendrick Sally, uh, I was just about to say, you know how bad our run defense and just our defense in general has been. I've been trying to you know, make it better through recruiting, but... You know, there's only so much he can do. And Kendrick Sally goes a huge gain right there and gives the Gamecocks a four-point lead, 7-3. Now Trevor Haynes in the game, third down and 13. Showing some poise is the young sophomore and Brad Rogers with a 21-yard reception. But Bilal Marshall is graduating this year. He has probably two more games after this. Um, you know, if we do make a bowl game, I'm going I'm to say we do. But he has two more games after this after this game uh, left with the program. So you kind of wonder where our quarterback situation is going to be after this year. We've had three quarterbacks uh, in four years. And actually, I think it's going to be kind of a battle between uh, Trevor Haynes, the guy that's uh, playing the rest of this game, and a freshman uh, that I redshirted this year who is actually really good. And I think he might end up winning the job. He's really fast, and I just feel like that he can be the face of the franchise for the next four years. Or not franchise, but face of the program for the next four years. But you see Ridge James getting the interception right there. 
and that is the first turnover of the day for either side but yeah as the season starts to wind down you know we didn't have the most successful season I know it was our first season in the SEC um, so I think considering that we've had a pretty good season but you kind of wonder where this program is going to go in the future so uh, you look at our recruiting class right now we only have four commits right now I believe we have a five-star commit the number one uh, the number one player in the recruiting class in the entire nation he is a wide receiver and then we got two four uh, he was obviously a five star then we got two four stars coming in and then a three star kicker so those are the uh, commits we has have as of now but we are ahead on a lot of other guys I think our recruiting class is shaping is gonna shape out to be about 17 guys uh, this season so we'll still have probably uh, too many scholarships left over it's because I put my I don't show my recruiting in these videos as you see Billy Cooper getting the touchdown right there to give us the lead but I don't really show my recruiting in these videos because I just don't find it interesting I don't know if you guys want to show me uh, want me to show recruiting go ahead and tell me in the comments but I don't know I just don't find recruiting very interesting to show um, I feel like you know um, I can always just tell you at the end though you know here's this guy he signed and then you'll eventually see him on the field I don't feel like it's important to know that uh, you know, who I'm going after you know what I'm doing in the recruiting scheme of things but if you guys do want to see that go ahead and let me know because I gladly show that uh, if you guys are into that so first down and 10 for South Carolina and Kendrick Sally continues to run all over our defense as he is gonna get into the end zone once again a 42 yard touchdown for Kendrick Sally and that is a another big game for him as he is well over 100 yards this game and giving the Gamecocks a 14-10 lead so Trevor Haynes is back to pass he's gonna be rolling to his right nowhere really to go and coming back across the formation is Caleb Blanchard and that is a five-yard reception right there Caleb Blanchard is definitely this was like year one with Jay Jones Caleb Blanchard we've kind of gone away from giving him the ball um, Blanchard's probably around maybe 600 yards at most rushing uh, we don't give him the ball all too often so I think that's definitely something I want to shore up next season I would definitely like to you know improve the running game I feel like if we're ever going to contend in the SEC we need to have a good running game and not just rely so heavily on our passing game but you see Kyle Clifford getting the reception right here that's a 19 yard reception as we're closing in on halftime second and four Trevor Haynes going deep over the middle and it is Brad Rogers at the 10 yard line 34 yards, Brad Rogers, his second catch of the ball game, sets up a first down and goal, and we would end up getting a field goal attempt out of this, and Logan Gunn puts it through the uprights to give us a one-point deficit, but then South Carolina would drive down at the end of the half and kick one of their own. So it is 17-13 at the half, the Gamecocks on top, and I feel like we've looked decently, or not decently, we've looked decent in this first half, um, I, there's definitely things we could show up, especially on the defense. Our run defense is just awful, like usual. We have one of the worst defenses in the country. And once again, you see there's the lack of rush yards. Most of our rushing yards are coming from our quarterback position, usually. But with Blau Marshall being out, we do not uh, have that same production. So we're relying heavily on the pass. But Trevor Haynes is doing a great job slinging the ball around. He has not thrown an interception yet, playing pretty well for himself. As you'll see Kendrick Sally getting six yards right there here as we're into the second half. And he is up to 152 yards on just nine carries. But second and four, and here is Robbins getting the reception, breaking a tackle, being chased by Buchanan. And he is taken down inside the five-yard line. Huge gain right there for the Gamecocks. And Brendan Nasovic, Nos looks like Nasovic. Yeah, Nasovich um, going to throw the touchdown right there to Jody Fuller. That is a five-yard touchdown pass, and Nasovich with his first touchdown throw of the game. So third and six, Haynes rolling to his right, throwing over the middle on the uh, out route right there, the coming across route, and that is a 10-yard reception for Brian McIntyre, his first of the ball game. Usually he has some pretty big games but not doing the same thing so far in this one. So here we go, Haynes back to pass again, and he's going to find McIntyre again. McIntyre getting six yards right there. His third catch of the ball game. Now first and ten, Haynes back to pass, and he's going over the middle, and it is Brian McIntyre again down inside the ten-yard line, and McIntyre gets 39 yards on the play. And now fourth and goal, Trevor Haynes. We don't have Blau Marshall, but Trevor Haynes gets the job done. Two-yard touchdown run right there for the sophomore quarterback. We would end up going for two because I figured I wanted to cut the lead uh, down to three, but we did not get it. So we're down five now, 24-19. And Kendrick Sally continues to shred our defense. A 12-yard run right there 
gets him up to 164 yards rushing. He's averaging over 16 yards a carry. Now Nasevich is going deep, and he finds Jody Fuller down inside the 40-yard line. And now it's first down and 10. Nasevich in the shotgun, and he's going to throw a fade route, and it's going to find Smith right there, Quinton Smith, with the 16-yard reception as Nasevich is up over 230 yards passing now. Now second down and 11. Nasevich on the option. He is hit, and he tries to pitch, and he fumbles, and it is picked up by Gonzalez, and the Jaguars take over the second turnover of the day for South Carolina, and that is going to give... Uh, the Jaguars the ball back, but we end up going three and out. So South Carolina gets the ball back, and here's Chris Robinson getting 19 yards. But that's going to get us to the fourth quarter, and South Carolina with a five-point lead heading into the fourth. And we'll see if we can come back. I don't know. This will be a huge upset if we can pull this one. It would get us back into the top 25 for sure. And you'll see on that drive, South Carolina ends up getting a field goal. So they're up 27-19 now. It's an eight-point deficit. So 6.20 to go. And Dejan Funderbunk, another senior with a seven-yard touchdown reception right there. Second down and three now. Haynes going to throw on the right side to Billy Cooper, who's going to get the first down right there, a five-yard reception for Billy Cooper, his second of the ball game. And now 18 first downs apiece, and Caleb Blanchard is going to give us our 19th as he stumbles ahead for 22 yards on the run right there. Now 5.34 to go. Haynes back to pass, and he's going over the middle. And that is Kyle Clifford making some guys miss. Touchdown, Jaguars. And we are within two. Kyle Clifford, the 29-yard touchdown reception. And that is Trevor Haynes' first touchdown toss on the game, second on the season, and we're going for two. Trevor Haynes over the middle finds Brad Rogers, and this game is knotted up at 27 with 5.27 to go. And here we go, Nasevich handing off to Kendrick Sally, who is going to break a couple of tackles and get eight yards right there. Kendrick Sally making this defense look silly. And once again, he's got a lot of space on the left sideline. Finally pushed out after a 26-yard gain and just continuing to embarrass our defense. And then Nasevich going over the middle for Robbins, and that is Deontay Robbins with the 25-yard reception. Now first and 10, Nasevich going on the right side, intercepted by Earl, who's gonna take a knee for the touchback. And now with 4.32 to go, we can milk the rest of this clock and kick a field goal for the win. So Haynes going over the middle for Trevor, or not Trevor Harris. Uh, Matt Harris for the eight-yard reception right there. Now third and inches. Haynes handing off to Blanchard, and he's got a lot of space on that run. And he gets the, the first down and more. Caleb Blanchard up to 67 yards rushing. Now first and 10. Haynes back to pass. And nowhere really to go. He dumps it down to Billy Cooper, who's going to get 10 yards right there. That's enough for the first down just barely. So we end up kicking a field goal here. Pretty long one. We get that uh, freezing the kicker angle. And it, it definitely hurt. You see it's short and to the left. So we're going to overtime. Second and 10. Trevor Haynes on the curl route. It's going to find Kyle Clifford in 11-yard reception. And that is going to give us a first down. And now second and 10. And here is Haynes back to pass. Going over the middle for Kyle Clifford, who's into the end zone for the touchdown. His second touchdown catch of the game. And we're going to go for two. Try to go for the kill. Go up by eight points. We're going for two. We'll see if it comes back to bite us. Trevor Haynes in the shotgun. Nowhere really to go. He's rolling to his right, being chased. Throws it, and it is broken up right there. So South Carolina has a chance to win this ball game, and you'll see Kendrick Sally just runs over a guy, an 11-yard touchdown, and all they need is an extra point to win this game and break our hearts. And here it is. It is up, and it is good. There's a flag on the play, but it is just offsides and the Jaguars lose and drop to 6-5 and five on the season. South Carolina improves to 9-2 and two on the season, so definitely a disappointing loss. We probably should have won this game. Uh, you know, we kind of gave them the game. We did trail a lot of the game, but, you know, when, when it push came to shove, we probably should have won the game. Kendrick Sally, your player of the game, over 200 yards rushing, three touchdowns. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Um, you know, it was definitely a tough loss. Hopefully we can finish out the season on the on a high note against Vanderbilt and get our seventh win of the year. But South Carolina 34, South Alabama 33 is your final score. So anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy, and I will see you guys next week. Peace.